Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, OPTCG DEX. OPTCG DEX is the ultimate companion app for all One Piece TCG players and collectors alike. I've tried the app out. Although it's really new, the app has serious potential. First off, let's talk about the convenience of using the app. You can easily sort and filter for whatever cards that you're looking for. My favorite part about the app is you have instant access to price checking sites like TCG Player or UUTE for the Japanese market. This makes price checking really convenient for when you're buying cards and trading. You also have access to the market price trends if you're interested in that kind of information. If you enjoy having data and translations of all the cards at your fingertips, you'll appreciate the extensive card database that you will get from this app. One of my favorite features of this app is the card collection feature. Although the feature is not perfect yet, you can add cards into your digital collection, both English and Japanese cards. Sometimes I do forget what cards are in my collection and what cards I'm looking for. So having access to this information all the time on my phone is really convenient. Another feature is of course a must have, the deck building function. I feel this function is really useful and one every player would need. You can build your deck, save it and edit it anytime. There were times when I'm outside and I suddenly thought of an interesting deck idea or a tech idea. This app allows me to immediately make that change or build the deck on the go. The last feature that I want to talk about is their battle mode. It is an easy way to refer to cards while playing against your opponent. I recommend using the battle mode as a way to translate both yours and the opponent's cards as you play. Honestly, I'm quite impressed by the app. The developer is also continually updating and fixing any issues the app might have, till eventually we'll get the best One Piece TCG app which every player and collectors will have on them. So what are you waiting for? Download the app, it's free and available on both Apple and Android store. Click the link below in the description to download the app. And now back to the video. In this video, we'll be unboxing 4 boxes that was generously sent by our sponsor for today, OPTCG Dex. So if you couldn't tell, I'm doing a voiceover mainly because the original audio was lost and unfortunately I'm doing this. So as you can see, I'm using the, I'll be using the app, uh, OPTCG DAX, if you haven't downloaded it, it's in the description, the link. It's free on iOS as well as Android. With that, we'll be opening our first box. I believe in each box, you will get one alternate art done, which is the Holo Dawn and one alternate art of a new card or an existing card with new art as well as one full art and one secret rare if you are using this app you can check the price instantly like UUTE as well as TCG player and you can also check the price trend like as you can see here on July 27 the price of a Yamato is about 6,000 yen and as of 29 July the card price really dropped by about 2,000 yen so again with every new product try to um, wait for a few days before buying out the stuff usually the price will really increase by a lot on the first few days and it would gradually drop over the days and here's our first pack I don't remember which or what cards I put from what box but here you can see in again in each pack you'll be getting two of the Jolly Roger foil as you can see here really shiny and you also get one super rare as well as one common alternate art don. Here we have the uh, infamous Inugrant or How Blaze Hound. There you go, the first super rare of the box or of the pack. We have the Eustace Kid as well as Satori, the Jolly Roger foil. I think the foiling is really good, but do we really need four copies, four to three copies of a card in one box? First pack we got the Luchi Don. And here's the Magellan Dawn. So some of the cards here that are finally getting some alternate arts would be the Germa cards. Hell Mapo being a starter deck card getting an alternate art or full art is great as well. And for this, I think this is not used at all. So I don't know why they selected that card for a Jolly Roger foil. Then we get our first, our second super rare, Edwin You Gate, and our rare Baby Five. BB5 also gets an alternate art as well as a full art, I believe. Next, uh, third pack. Yeah, so over here you see me doing the pack trick, putting the dons at the back. But if you happen to get a manga foil or a manga god pack, then you wouldn't get that first dawn at the front. Here we have Tsuru. Tsuru is a. Also gets an. No, I think Tsuru only has a full art. Has a full art. This is Niji. Niji has a full art and alternate art. This is the Trafalgar Law from the starter deck. 
And there we got our first hit of the box. We have Kaido, the secret Kaido, which allows you to draw four cards if your opponent's at three life. I think the art is fantastic over here. Definitely going to my Doffy deck. And we got the Uta Dawn. So speaking about the Dawns from the premium booster set, what I'm looking for is the Uta Holo Dawn as well as the Perona and maybe Corazon. So some of those cards. And fourth pack, yeah, you see we got a reprint of Queen. Lucky for me, I didn't spend much on Queen. I bought them for like $1 back then, before PO5. And we got Marco, we have Sanji. Sanji also gets a new alternate art. Then we have Arlong. Arlong also has an alternate art and full art. And here we pull our first uh, Holo Dawn, which is a Rebecca Dawn. Oh yeah, forget, I forgot about it. I also want to get a Rebecca Dawn as well as the VV one. So here's our next pack. So we are left with one alternate art. No, we are left with one full art as well as one secret rare. We have Momo, Momonosuke which is which has some controversial behind the card art being the full art. Not full art. Yeah, the full art version. It looks really bad. And then we have the Katakuri Dawn. For the first box, I'll be doing a slow roll where moving on to the second box onwards, I'll start cutting more packs up in a go. So we have Air Door and here we have the... This is the Jolly, Jolly Roger foil. I believe it also has a full art. Not full art, but a stamp version. And here you go, Moria Super Rare. And our first full art is Dellinger. I don't mind getting this but I prefer to get like maybe the 3 cost ball Hancock. So seeing that we have already gotten all our hits except for the secret rare, I just cut them up all once. Here you have the Vivi Dawn. We have Virgo. We have Ball Hancock. Upper Yard. Upper Yard full art looks really weird. Or should I say alternate art? And there you go, the Hancock. The Hancock Jolly Roger foil. Which um which I'm also looking for the alternate art and full art of that card. Shirahoshi has a full art and a new alternate art as well. This is the Sakazuki Dawn. We have Shockwave, Baby 5, also has a full art. Yeah, we don't talk about Izo here. Kobe, which is from the Ota promo pack. I'm surprised they didn't reprint Gordon. Izo, Borsellino. Anyone remembered Borsellino being very expensive? And then we have more of the Niji. This is Oden. Odin's Dawn. Jerma's alternate art looks really great as well. And the Pilaf as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we get one Sanji leader card per box. And we got Cracker, our super rare. And this is Ryuma, who also gets an alternate art and full art. As well as Bello Betty. And there we have the Crocodile Dawn. This is Don Quixote Family. Makino gets a full art, Mihawk gets a full art. Basically, I think everyone here, every card gets a full art in this set. And yeah, so for the secret rare of the box, we got Kuzan. So moving on to our second box, I believe I should be checking some of the prices of the cards using the OPTCG Dex app at the end of the video. So moving on to the second box, I'll just speed run through it. We've seen most of the cards and we know how the um, distribution of each rarity or each cards. So we have the Ace Dawn and I believe the Baby 5, uh, not Baby 5, the Reiju, Reiju, Baby Reiju full art is quite expensive. Maybe it's a really useful piece. Just doing some sorting over here and we got the Starter Deck Kaido reprint and the 2 million volt Amaru alternate art. I think it looks really great. Unfortunately, I don't play any yellow decks at the moment, so probably just end up being the binder. Then we got another Luchi Dawn. That's Duval, Virgo, the Linger. Another Queen, a Jolly Roger Queen. So Queen being accessible now, it's good for everyone. I remember there was a time everyone was buying the purple starter deck just to have access to Queen. So everyone would get a copy. I think. Yeah, most of the box here, people just throw it away or give away. Definitely accessible right now. That is the Magellan Dawn. 
you have a Nekomamushi Jolly Roger foil, you have Hiyori, who also gets a new alternate art, and that's the Trafalgar Law Dawn. Robin, Robin also gets a full art. Yeah, I think I did mention earlier. Okay, this is the Jolly Roger foil, not the full art foil, which looks really bad if you don't know. Radio, okay, and then speaking of Nico Robin, here's a full art. Look at that card, looks really healthy. Not sure if I'm gonna keep play set because I'm not a fan of Robin. I'm more of a Boa Hancock guy. So moving on. Uh, we've yet to hit our Secret Rare and our Holodon. So let's see what Holodon we get. Brule. Brule doesn't get uh, an alternate art but full art, I believe. Yamato, we know she got a an, a new alternate art. And there you go, a Doffy Don. So even though I'm playing Blue Doffy, I'm not going to use this Doffy Don because I have a better Don to use. Then this is our fourth last pack, the Linger. So just uh, the only thing that's missing from this box is our Secret Rare, which we should be getting in the next few packs. So yeah, four packs remaining. We have two packs now. And there you go, we see the Anal Dawn. Are there any more Anal players? I think they're disappearing, right? Okay, and then, yeah, nobody asked for this. Cracker, there you go, our oh, Katakuri. I think the best secret rare to get from this box would be Katakuri. I think it's the most prices of out of all the other reprint secret rare. But right now, I already have six copies of Katakuri. I don't know how I got them, but happen to have six of them. And opening last two packs, not sure if uh, you can still get a god pack or even an alternate art leader once you open up all the hits. But let's just open up the last few packs. We got another kit. This is the Karakuri Dawn. Sindri gets a full art as well. And Khalifa. Khalifa full art. Bartolomeo gets an alternate art. Here, I think, yeah, I'm checking the prices for this second box. So you can see here, Amaru is about 980 yen. And I think I'm checking for Robin now. Yeah, Robin is about 780 yen. So moving on to our third box. Third box. I don't remember what I pulled. Okay, so we're going to do a fat stack here. Not really, just three packs. Okay, our third pack, we have the Oden Dawn. Duval, Kalgara, no that's not Kalgara, that's Wiper. Yeah, anyone remember um, Moria being like $10 a piece? Okay, we have the King Dawn. Yeah, I think most of the Super Rare here should be about $1 to $2. We got, oh, and um, I this is my fourth copy of Law. I didn't have a place of this green Law. And we got another Boa Hancock Jolly Roger foil looking for the full art and alternate art we have red rock kuzan and baby five kuzan also gets a new alternate art so next three packs we have the rebecca dawn shockwave jolly roger foil and yeah okay we got our first hit of the box which is the kuzan secret rare that is big mom's dawn Reiju, Jolly Roger Foil. The alternate art is going for I think about 2,500 yen at the moment. And okay, we got our second here of the box which is Edward Newgate. Really good art. I'm happy to get this as well as the Corazon Dawn. Rosinante Dawn to go along with our Doffy Dawn. Yeah, they match really well. I might use these Dawns if I'm using the Corazon Leader. And that is... Yeah, I think that is the rest of the hit, right? Oh no, we are still missing our full art. That is the Kit Dawn. Shirahoshi, Jolly Roger, Foil. Luffy. Okay, so here we go. We got our Yonji full art. Yeah, and Yonji even gets an alternate art. So I think more people will be going for the alternate art version instead of this full art. Bosselino again, I think that's our second one. This is the Ivankov Dawn. And no more hits, I believe. Just just one pack left. 
So last pack, is there any last pack magic? Doffy Dawn. Okay, we got the 10 cost Doffy. So onto our last box. Last box. I wonder what we'll get. Okay, I'm I'm opening okay, I'm opening one pack instead of a fat stack. Not sure what I'm doing here. Okay, so we get baby five. Uh, Jolly Roger Pilaf and okay we got the full art of the box and a Crocodile Dawn so the full art is Niji again Niji also has an alternate art which I think players would be looking for that instead of this Katakuri Dawn I think that's our third Katakuri Dawn right then Duval we have Reju and the alternate art Otama looks really good and she looks really cute over here as well and if I'm playing red and I'm using Otama I'm definitely using this art I think this is the only alternate art other than the I think uh first anniversary box. Otama also has the full art version as well. So now we are missing our last holo dawn and the secret rare to finish up the opening. Another Jolly Roger Queen. Oden Dawn. That's Wiper. Wiper has a full art as well. Izo Kaido and that is our last four packs. Okay, we're opening two packs first. Just looking for our just looking for our secret rare and the holodon. That is Magellan Thunderbolt. I believe yeah, Thunderbolt doesn't get a new art. Okay, so we got our last secret rare, which is Karakuri, and our holo Utadon. Yeah, I really love this Utadon. I'm hoping to get a place out of it and I believe that should be all the hits we have two packs left so just looking at our secret rare pile we got one of the best secret rare to pull out of PRB which is the two Katakuri and we have two Kuzan which is, isn't really saying play but hopefully we'll get to use him in the future last pack so once again I want to thank the sponsor OPTCG DEX app for sending me these four boxes again the app is free free to download on the Apple and Android store so feel free to download and do check the app out if you haven't downloaded it and you're interested to learn more about the app you can watch the ad at the beginning of this video it's a really useful app which you will see later I'm gonna use the app to compare prices I believe they also have the dawn prices I didn't check I might check it later so over here we have the ever new gate which is about 1280 yen and then this is yonji yonji is about 500 yen otama i think is quite pricey yeah it's about 2500 yen and niji is about oh surprisingly 780 yen same price as the alternate art if you've enjoyed this video drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel leave a comment let me know what cards you're looking for or what cards you want to pull out of PRB. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or X for more One Piece TCG content. And again, thank you OPTCG Dex for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.